Okay, yesterday we were um, talking about how to multiply fractions, and we talked about all you do is just multiply straight across, right? You just multiply your um, numerators across, and you multiply your denominators across. And then we talked about this idea of, um, when we're looking back in our notes, we also talked about this idea of becoming a seventh grader and looking, at, looking ahead at going into simplest form by reducing our fraction down to the smallest fraction that we could make by using division. Um, we also looked at making a model. And so right now I want you just to look back at your notes and think about your learning target, about products of fractions and how to make products into fractions. And I want you to think about where you were yesterday in your understanding. And let's think about where we're going today. As we answer this essential question, how do we multiply mixed numbers? So our question today, our essential question today is, how do we multiply mixed numbers? So our first um, word for today is um, mixed number. What is a mixed number? So our first word is mixed number. Our vocabulary word mixed number, a mixed number is a fraction that has a whole number. So it's a fraction that has a whole number and a fraction next to it. So it's mixed in the sense that it has both. It has both fraction and a part. So this is a mixed number. It has a fraction with a whole and a part. For example, so here's my example. It would look something like this, one and one half. That is a mixed number, okay? Um, another vocabulary word that we are going to be looking at today is the word improper fraction. So we're going to be looking at the word improper fraction. Improper fraction. So improper fractions um, are ones that have, um, they have their numerator, so we know that the numerator is the one that's on top, is bigger than their denominator. So the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So improper fractions are what we like to call top heavy. They could fall over, okay? So their base is not big, their top is big. So we have a um, bigger numerator than the denominator. Okay, so they're kind of like mixed up in the sense that the big number is on top versus the little number on top, like normal. Um, let's do an example of what this one would look like. So an example could be like that. Okay, notice how the numerator is huge and the denominator is small. Okay, it's not always that big, but you get the idea. I wanted to exaggerate it for you. Okay, um, let's go ahead and talk about though, now that we've got some vocabulary words and we've got some examples, how do we multiply mixed numbers? How do we use these two vocabularies when we, vocabulary words, when we are multiplying? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna see these in action. So let's find the product of, we're gonna find the product of, I wish I knew where my blue pen went. Oh, there it is. Okay, the missing blue pen. All right, we are going to find the product of one and four fifths 
and three and two thirds. Okay, so we have two mixed numbers. Okay, so we have a whole and we have um, parts of a whole. Okay, and our job is to multiply. Now, for some reason, kids come to us from elementary school thinking that you can just add the whole numbers. You may not just multiply and then add. That's not how this works. You have to create improper fractions before you can multiply. So this idea of improper fractions is really, really important. So we need to create bigger numerators and smaller denominators before we can do anything. So our first step here is going to be to make improper fractions. Well, how do you do that? Well, this idea is first we have to understand what is a whole. So in order to understand what is a whole, we have to look at our denominator to find out how many pieces our whole represents. Well, our whole represents five pieces. So when we were looking at making a model yesterday, we knew that when we cut our whole into pieces, we cut it into five pieces. So a whole would just be five out of five pieces. So one whole is equal to five out of five pieces. So this whole right here represents five out of five because this tells us that there were five pieces in order to make this whole. But I also still have these four fifths here. So now I have to also add these four fifths. So this whole entire fraction represents five over five plus four over five which is nine fifths. So my whole fraction here, this whole circled fraction is nine fifths. This is an improper fraction. I have a big number on top, a small number on bottom. This one is ready for multiplication. I'm gonna do the same thing over here, but now I have a different denominator, so that means that I need to cut into thirds. So every whole on this one is three out of three. So my thirds over here are actually three out of three. So let's box this guy up so we can show what we represent over here. So I need to make threes, right? So this third here, is the same as saying three over three plus three over three plus three over three. So there's one hole, one hole, and one hole. That represents this giant three. Now, I can't forget about these two thirds right here. So plus two thirds because that whole two thirds represents this mixed number. So my two thirds, I need to add all this up. So three plus three is six, plus three is nine, 10, 11. So this fraction here is 11 out of three. There we go. So 11 out of three is this fraction. It's improper. It represents this whole mixed number here. I have made improper fractions. They are now ready to be multiplied. So this is what I'm going to do now. I am going to take, and I'm going to take this 9 fifths, and I'm going to take this 11 thirds, and I am going to multiply them because they're both ready. So I'm going to take 9 fifths, 
times 11 thirds and I am ready to multiply straight across and I get 9 times not, 9 times 11 is 99 5 times 3 is 15 and that gives me 99 fifteenths. Okay, so here's the deal. I am still in an improper fraction and I need to make this fraction right here into a mixed number so that it looks back like here. So how do I do this? Well, I use my fraction line as a division sign and I just divide. Well, I know that if I were to count, right, 15, 30, 45, 60, and I keep going, I can take six holes, six whole 15s out of this 90, 9, okay, and that gives me 90. I then have 9 fifteenths left. If I were a sixth grader, I could stop right here. But eventually, I'm going to become a seventh grader. So I'm going to push myself and I want to go a little bit further. So this answer right here is okay. I'll take that answer. But I'm going to go a little bit further and I'm going to divide by three because I know that three goes into nine and three can go into 15. So I'm going to divide by three and I'm going to divide by three and I get 3 over 5, and I have to bring my 6 with it, and so I get 6 and 3 fifths, and that is my final answer. And we just multiplied. So step 2 up here for multiplying mixed numbers is to then multiply straight across. So we multiply the numerators, we multiply the denominators, and then step three is to make mixed numbers. That is how we multiply mixed numbers. So turn them to improper fractions, multiply them, and then make them mixed numbers. Now, we're gonna do one more example, but I am gonna show you a shortcut. And in this shortcut, if you don't wanna use it, you don't have to. Okay, so here's, so this is example A, here's example B. All right, this one says to find two and three fifths times three and one third. All right, so here is the shortcut. The shortcut is, if this shortcut confuses you, do not use it. If you are not ready for this shortcut, I need you to go back up here to make your improper fractions until you understand the shortcut. Okay, the shortcut says that I can multiply on the bottom and I can add on the top. So if I multiply my five by my two, I get 10. That's like saying five over five plus five over five is 10. So five times two is 10 plus three. So this is like saying five over five plus five over five plus three over five. I get the exact same answer. I get 13 over five, except I didn't write out all of this. Instead, I just said five times two is 10, plus three is 13, and I get 13 fifths. Okay, next. We need to make three and one third into an improper fraction. So we're gonna take three and one third. And again, I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time I'm just going to use my shortcut. I'm going to multiply my denominator by my whole 
and then add my numerator. So three times three is nine, plus one is 10. So this is 10 over three. Again, three plus three plus three plus three is nine, plus one is 10, so I get 10 thirds. Now I can multiply these two numbers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to multiply 13 fifths times 10 thirds improper fraction times an improper fraction. I'm going to now get 130 over 15. I'm not done because now I need to make mixed numbers, okay? I know that when I pulled out six, that gave me 90. So if I do seven, that's only gonna give me 105. If I do eight holes, eight holes will give me um, 120. So let's go with eight, and that's gonna give me 120, so that gives me 10 left over, 10 over 15. I can stop here if I want to, or if I wanna challenge myself to be a seventh grader, I can reduce, because I can see five goes into both of these numbers, and I can simplify my fraction, and I can say 10 divided by five is two, five divided by five, I'm sorry, 15 divided by five is 15. Nope, it's three. Missing wonder, what is going on in your brain this morning? Okay, there we go, two thirds. Crazy brain. Okay, so we get eight and two thirds. That's what happens when you do math too fast when you're trying to explain it. You gotta slow down. Okay, here is your try it. Here's your try it. Okay, I want you to try this one for me. Try it. Okay, this is try it number 11 in your book. Try it number 11 says, um, one and seven eighths times two and two fifths. So pause your video right now or else you are gonna hear me explain this to you and you do not wanna hear that. You wanna challenge yourself and you wanna get the answer on your own without my help. Okay, so pause the video. One times eight is eight plus seven is 15, so this equals 15 over eight times, two times five is 10, 10 plus two is four, four, what did I do? That's not right, 10 plus two, 10, 12, that's what I meant, 12 over five. Oh, good thing I checked myself. That would have been really, really wrong. Okay, now I need to multiply. 15 times 12 is 180. 180 over eight times five is 40. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I need to divide. 18 divided by four. So four times four is 16. So I'm gonna pull out four holes. So 160, that would leave me 20 left over, 20 over 40. Okay, so this answer, 20 over four, four and 20 over 40 is okay. But I'm gonna go one step further and I'm gonna divide down. And I know 20 is half of 40, so I can just cut that in half and I get four and one half. All right, sixth graders, you may go ahead and go back and answer your essential question. How do we multiply mixed numbers? So in your own words, explain to me how do we answer mixed numbers? And then off to the side in the box at the end of your lesson, please tell me how are you feeling about mixed numbers, improper fractions, and being able to multiply them? 
One, I have no clue what we are doing, so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna watch this video again so I can try to understand it. Two, I am okay, I just need some more practice, so I'm gonna go on iExcel or I'm gonna go on Big Ideas, I'm gonna ask questions in the Google Meet, um, but I'm getting there. Um, or a three, I totally understand this. I'm even comfortable using the trick. Um, and I could explain it to someone else. So rate yourself right here in the box. Thank you for your hard work today. Remember, always come back and ask for help if you need it. That's why I am here. Um, I can't help you if you don't ask for help. So um, otherwise, I want you to move on to your practice. And as always, make it a great day the cougar way.